I would like to tell you something instead of telling what what all is written in the books and what you have read. I will tell you what are the myths which have to be demolished in medicine. Because Karl Popper, a great thinker, who was the professor of science philosophy in the London School of Economics in the 50s, had one principle. Knowledge, he said, I am quoting him, knowledge advances not by repeating known things but by refuting false dogmas, of which there are many in medicine. One is, you must have run a, my, what is that called, marathon. A lot of people run a marathon. Let me assure you that running a marathon is a bad exercise, it is bad for health and it's uh, one of the disease producers and running a marathon is one of the ways of detecting falsely some people whom we can make a money out of that's that's an industry so running a marathon is a bad thing two you must eat ten times a day or four times a day or eight times a day or one time a day all these are myths we still don't know how many times you have to eat there are people who are very healthy eating only once a day i've seen so a lot of jain sannyasis who do just take a little food and they are happy. I have seen people who gorge food ten times a day and still doing well. So it all depends on your body constitution and different people are different. No two individuals are alike in this world. So most of our medical studies in science, what are called medical science, are false because we compare individuals. You can't compare two individuals because two individuals are not the same. They cannot be the same and they cannot do the same thing. But what we do is we take them as RCT, randomized control trials. And recently it was found that these RCTs on which most of medical science is based are a fake. So you can understand how we base our scientific data on wrong data, wrong scientific methods. And today science is not free. Science actually is so clustered and cloistered and imprisoned. Science is a prisoner of money. Because money grant comes and one who gets more grant is a bigger scientist. Yesterday I was traveling, I was uh, having a couple of my colleagues in the university in the olden days before I retired. And they, they, one of them is still continuing to be a, called a scientist. He has not produced nothing. But he has produced so many papers and got so much of grant. The university likes him because he gets two to three crores of rupees every year for the university. So they say he is the best scientist. And this is what science is all about. And if you want to know what science is and where science is, where science is going, please read this book, Science Set Free. The book's name is Science Set Free, written by a great scientist called Sheldrake. And Sheldrake, Robert Sheldrake, is a great scientist in Cambridge University. And Bob has written this book because he showed how science is all now being imprisoned by money and greed and publication and uh, grants. You, get, you take grant from people and then you can't give a negative report because the grant, next grant won't come. For example, one of the calamities that most of you have felt, yesterday I felt it in the India International Center when I came, when I asked for an omelette. He said, white egg omelette? I said, no, egg omelette, whole egg omelette. Even the yellow? I said, yes, of course, yellow is a part of the egg. And if you don't have the egg, it's not egg. White of an egg is not egg, egg is egg. Now they are worried about because the yellow contains fat, I believe. And some people don't even look at fat, forget about eating fat. They don't even look at fat, they just shun fat. Actually fat is very good for health, fat is good for the heart. And fat is, must be eaten, but in moderation. You, you don't gorge on fat. But fat is not bad. Who, whoever has told fat is bad, I have based that on a wrong study. And this I'll tell you the study. There's a man called Ansel Case. Ansel Case was a biochemist. His wife was a physiologist. So two of them together got a grant, nearly 50 or odd thousand dollars from the government to study the effect of fat on heart. So they went on a honeymoon tour of about 22 countries, collecting data about fat and heart disease. They collected and collected and then came home. When they plotted it on the graph, they found there's no correlation between the two at all, the amount of fat you eat and heart disease. They can't give that data to the government because $56,000 will have to be returned or they will not get the next grant. So what they did was they sat at night and removed country by country by country. From the 22 countries they reduced it to 7 countries where there was some sort of a correlation. So they called it the famous Ansel K 7 country study. And to, today what you read in the textbooks or in, in the newspaper is 7 country study which says Fat is the cause of heart disease, fat is the cause of atherosclerosis which comes down, etc., etc. It's all myth. 
but it still gets perpetuated because that was done because Ansel case had to keep his grant going and get the next grant coming. If you go through most of the studies in medicine, they are based on this kind of a data. So don't believe most of what is said. 